All right, today I'm going to do an unboxing and a quick review of this Claymore cap on ADC model, which is a, a light that clips onto a hat or you can clip it onto any other thing. It's a rechargeable, has up to 45 hours duration with a rechargeable battery, USB-C recharging, which is kind of fast rate charging. It has a sensor built into it, so you just kind of wave your hand on the side of it to turn it on and off, which is pretty helpful in conditions where you're carrying things. And the one feature I like it, it has a red LED, which you can dial it down to very low intensity for use for astronomy. They do have a, a 40 model, a 65 model, I'm, and, all, and then they have this 80 and then a 120. So I chose the ADC. If we look at some of the specifications in the back here, they've got the main <coughs> spotlight in the front, the white one, at its uh, maximum intensity, puts out 280 lumens. It'll run three hours at that level. You can reduce the the intensity setting. It's got multiple uh, setting, and you can get 45 hours in that case. The uh, It'll have a spotlight out to 75 meters with the highest intensity. With the red LED, you can see I dial it down to about one lumen, maximum 40, which is perfect for astronomy. And here's the runtime equivalent. And then on the top side of it, which you can see in the diagram here, it's just a, a bank of white LEDs, which also, again, you can change the intensity. This is something that you use just for lighting up an area, like within a tent or something like that. So let's take a look at what's inside. Okay, inside, it comes, comes with a little sack, the unit itself, instructions, the USB-C, the USB-A cable and a little carabiner for hanging it. So here's the unit itself. Got the spotlight in the front. It's got the floodlight on the top and it's got an adjustable clip setting so you can basically rotate it 180 degrees in any direction. You can clip it on a hat this way. You can adjust it to focus it down on the objects that you're looking at. You can also have it hanging underneath the bill of the hat. This clip is very stiff, very strong, so I wouldn't worry about that falling off. Alright, I'm going to charge it up and then we'll be right back. Alright, before I charge it up, I'm going to power up to see uh, the battery indicators down here. It's three LEDs. Uh, when you first power it on, it'll come up to whatever whatever light setting you had uh, the prior time you used it. So turn it on, it looks like it's using the flood light. If you hit the mode one time, it goes to the next one, which is the spotlight. Hit it one more, it goes to the red light. Alright, I'm going to shut it off. When I turn it on this time, you can see there's two, two, uh, two LEDs lights up. That means it's half charged. So it goes one, two, three from uh, right to left in this uh, image. So I'm going to charge it up and we'll start from a full charge. All right, to charge it up, you plug in through the USB-C connector here. You can tell the whole thing is you know, pretty well sealed up. You probably can't submerge it, but it surely would be protected from the rain. Now, as it's charging, you can see the, the level that it's working on blink. It'll eventually go to the third LED blinking. And then when that one goes fully illuminated, that means it's fully charged. I have a little meter here that shows the charge rate. Right now we're charging at 5 volts at 0.84 amps, which is 4.2 watts. Then I'll wait for it to fully charge and then we'll show you the rest of the functions. Alright, we got our three LEDs there, so we're fully charged. It only took about 30 minutes from the level that was at when uh, it came out of the box. So now I'll demonstrate light intensity changing. So you hold the power button down just one time that'll bring it up to the level and the mode that you were in last so I'm in the diffused flood setting if you push the button down and hold it it'll gradually like a dimmer switch will go up to full brightness and then it'll flash once when it's at the highest brightness so I'll hold it down you can see it goes full brightness blink so that means it's full brightness you I can repeat it and it'll go the other direction, so dimmer to the lowest setting and then blink when it's at the lowest. You can release it anywhere in between 
and it'll uh, stop at that setting. So hold it. You can see I can release it low. There's the high again, so I'll hold it down again to get a even dimmer. But right there, that's the lowest setting. The other way you can do it, so I'll shut it off for a second. Turn it back on. Now if you hold the mode button while you have the power button on, it'll change at the brightness level. So as the highest, if I keep clicking it, it'll go to lowest and then flash. That's the lowest setting. So that way there's like five different steps you can do just manually instead of having to worry about timing it from a dimmer setting standpoint. And the same procedure works for any mode, the a beam, spotlight, or the red. And I'll show you how I can re reduce the red down really low. That's the highest. And about right there might be the lowest. Pretty low. Let's see if I can go even lower. There's the highest. Okay, that's the lowest on the red LED setting. So if I shut it off, if you push the on button on and hold it on, it'll go into SOS mode. So you can see whatever you, whichever light you have activated, it'll do the SOS signal just by holding the on button on for two seconds or more. And it'll just basically stay that way. Hit it once and then it'll stop. One more to turn it off. All right, so now I'll demonstrate how the uh, sensor works for the hand waving. You can turn it on, and then if you hold the mode button down for two seconds, you can see the sensor light comes on there, and that allows you to turn it on and off with a hand wave. And to shut the uh, sensor off, you just hold the sensor, the mode button down for two seconds, and the sensor light will go off.